please subscribe to help you and your motorcycle perform better. Dave Williams, farmer here with today's video. We're starting a new series called Diagnosis. Your bike is exhibiting some problems. It's not riding so well. It's not handling well. It's misbehaving. Why is it doing that? What's the condition? It's got some symptoms. What's the underlying condition? What's the diagnosis? And then what's the treatment to cure whatever's ailing your bike? That's the point of this series. In this video, you'll hear Dave talk about maximum travel on the forks, which is reaching bottom out. How far do your forks travel before they bottom out? That's maximum travel at the bottom out. We have a separate video about uh, measuring and determining the bottom out on your forks. It's different for every bike. Some bikes will go all the way to the axle casting, some only 10 millimeters above it, some 17 millimeters above it. So you've got to check out your own bike, look at your own specs and determine that for yourself. We've got a video about that. Today's video is about front end chatter under braking. You're heading into a corner, you grab the brakes and it starts to do this. Now we're not talking about the back end skipping around because you've downshifted and your slipper clutch isn't working or you don't have a slipper clutch and you didn't match the revs and the back end starts to hop around because the rear wheel is spinning too slowly. That's something totally different. That's why God gave us slipper clutches. Here's a preview. Let's do a little bit of troubleshooting here and take a look at a very, very common issue. <clears throat> so first thing is what the hell does chatter mean? It's not somebody yakking in your ear, your crew chief yelling at you because you're half a second off. What it means is that when you're braking, it's doing that straight up and down, hard to hold on to. And that's commonly referred to, especially if you watch world level racing as chatter when braking. Why do we get that? So the first thing I'm gonna ask is, where are you on fork travel? How much are you using? How do we figure that out? Old school. Don't need anything more sophisticated than that to see where we're at. Complete bottom out, maximum travel. You got this much left yet, so no wonder it's bumpy. Let's go ahead and set it in, jump okay. off. And we reached our maximum, but we know we've got something to work with, and while it's less than ideal, it's doable. Five to 10 mil from maximum because there's always need a buffer for safety so you don't bottom out and fall over. So that's the ideal goal. So if 100% out is maximum, then we need to go back in to get to where this is ideal. So let's erase all of this and then do it from the other angle about breaking cheddar. All right. You are ready to roll for your next session. Now you're that far up, so much better. So we've got, now you can break and you have a buffer. So in that situation, we are gonna be okay for today, that race, that event, but something needs to change because if you don't, you're leaving the bike behind you and significantly increasing the amount of chatter you're gonna get on the brakes more and more frequently per lap. And guess what that's gonna to do to the stability of the bike? It's not gonna be better. And ultimately, what's that gonna do? It's gonna make your lap time slower. And that isn't the point of the game. Whether you're on a track bike or a race bike, you're supposed to get faster. So breaking chatter is by far the most common thing that people run into as they get better because they're not keeping the bike ahead of them. Catch the full video at DaveMossTuning.com.